When you grow up in the state of Texas and you see this everywhere that you go, jokingly say it doesn't have to say Texas, it doesn't say Longhorns, this stands alone. Quinn Ewers knows better than anybody what it means to wear the Texas Longhorns logo. He wore it as a child and dreamed about one day wearing it on his uniform. I remember my mom telling me I always had this Longhorn football hat that I pretty much wore every day. I wouldn't let anybody take it off my head. Every kid that lives in Texas wants to play quarterback here, and for, for me to have that opportunity, it's the coolest. With Quinn growing up, he was staring at Vince Young, he was staring at Colt McCoy, two of the greatest college quarterbacks ever. I think that was year one. I'm the quarterback at Texas. I was a young quarterback, um, just excited to be out there. I went through ups and downs. The guy, number one prospect. Viewers looking to the sideline, and this one's gonna be picked off. Well, then you find out when you're the quarterback at Texas, there's expectations that come with it. We all wanna win. There's a standard here at the University of Texas to win championships and to compete for them every year. Those expectations weighed on Ewers, even before he got to Texas. Ewers started his career at Ohio State in 2021 as the number one high school prospect in the country. But he says the pull to return home called to him, and he transferred to Texas after one year. In his first season as the Longhorn starter in 2022, Ewers dealt not only with injuries, but the pressure to bring Texas back. I remind him all the time, like, he and I both chose to come to the University of Texas. So let's not be surprised by the expectations. Like, we knew what we were signing up for. Now we know what the expectations are. Let's put those over here and let's go do what we do on a daily basis. I didn't take it as serious as I am this year. Took advantage of this offseason for sure, whether it be the mental or physical side of the game. I just think he's more bought in. He approaches every day the same, and he's probably one of the hardest working guys on this team. I feel like he's gained more confidence in just with his maturity. But just him stepping up doing that, everybody's following him. This is what we do. This is what we're on now. Ewer's production has surged this season, completing over 70% of his passes while throwing for more than 3,000 yards and 21 touchdowns. And now he has Texas in position to play for a national championship just like his Texas quarterback icons, Vince Young and Colt McCoy. It was just me telling myself I'm all in. We're all business this year. It's time to mature and, and grow up and let go of that. Now we're here. Now we are Big 12 champs. Now we are in the college football playoff. He's achieving and accomplishing things on this journey that have been kind of benchmarks along the way. That's what we're all focused on, the national championship game. Just the legacy of it, the rich tradition that football has for this university and how we haven't been able to really accomplish what we've been trying to accomplish the past whatever decade it's been. It's been a long time coming for everybody in this place. 